reason I'm still having a difficult time backing up and lining up to this trailer than my old trailers. So, if any of you have any suggestions as to what's the easiest way to line that up and back into up to this trailer, definitely uh, throw that my way because I'm all about getting any, any uh, advice from more experienced people than me. So as you see, I have a new enclosed 7x16 trailer. I still need to get it lettered up. I just have to basically save my money because at this point after getting this trailer, uh, I really don't have anything extra in my budget. So I just got to make everything work and budget it out. I wanted to get this trailer. This was step one of like 50 something. You know, I'm just throwing that number out there. but. There's a lot of other steps and phases to this, but I wanted to get this trailer so I can start saving money monthly on rent. Um, I had that storage unit all the way out, out up there, which was nice because I could just pull up and then back straight up to that with my old trailer. Um, but I was paying over $100 more a month for storage versus this parking spot. So... I really like this storage facility. It's close by, like I've said before, to everything that I need. You know, it's centrally located around all of my main accounts, the different HOAs that I am saturated in very well, as well as the car wash is right next door and Kanabi Outdoor Power, my dealer, is right next to the car wash. So it's just two doors down basically. So it's just really convenient for me. I'd rather pay a little extra for convenience. Yes, I can get a slightly cheaper parking spot at other places, but I'd have to drive further basically out of my way. And some of them I'm not really too sure about the location and the safety and uh, the security. I mean, um, the security of the location itself. And I'm really, I just, I really feel good about this place as well as the owners are very nice and accommodating. I'm not saying that that wouldn't be the case with some of the other places but I've gotten to know these folks and right from the beginning they were very nice and accommodating. Um, you know they've there's also utilities here that I haven't found at any of the other locations nearby meaning there's a there's dumpsters that I can dump stuff in you know just small stuff like when I'm doing trimming shrubs and stuff and if there's no woods for me to dump them in the back um, like some of my clients have and they're like yeah just come back there that's what we do with all our stuff and just start a compost pile um, if they don't have that and I have to actually bag it and take it away then I can just throw those couple of bags in the dumpsters here just like I would do at my house or whatever um, but this way I can just take it back here and just dump it right in there no big deal as long as I'm not putting giant limbs and stuff in there they don't care as long as it's bagged whether it's grass leaves um, you know, shrub trim, shrub clippings, whatever, it doesn't really matter. As long as it fits in a bag and you throw them in there. As well as any other garbage that I might have and accumulate, I can throw it in there. I don't have to worry about taking it home all the time and throwing it in my own personal dumpster. They have water here, which is key. They approved with their corporate that I can actually um, use their water to fill up my spray tanks, backpack sprayer, the tank for my... Um, the 26 gallon tank I have that I put on my grandstand. So all those things come in handy and they're things I don't have to worry about. Well, where do I get access to these things? So anyway, back to that, back to the trailer. There'll be more to come. Just wanted to, you know, I've been talking, posted it, posted it on Instagram, kind of threw some stuff out there here and there, but I really didn't want to reveal the trailer until I got it lettered up so that it was like hundred percent, but you know, it's been a while now since I've had the trailer. I'm happy with it so far, definitely impressed. Um, but there's a lot of work inside that needs to be done. You know, as you know, you get a trailer empty and then you just have to do what you gotta do. Set it up the way you want to custom, so. So I drove to Roanoke, three hours to Roanoke to get this trailer. Um, and then I drove back three hours. I was there for a little while because they had to do some things They were real busy or whatever So I couldn't just like literally pick it up pay for it pick it up and leave I was there for probably another hour and a half to, to two hours actually picked up a couple other accessories You know, I had to get a new hitch ball two and five eighths It was bigger for this trailer my old trailer my five by ten open trailer needed a whatever two inch two inch ball I think um, so it was a lot smaller so I need to get a bigger ball so they installed that for me real quick 
Um, I had to get the brake box installed. I already had the electric and everything already run from the previous owner of this of my F-150 that I have. So they just needed to get the brake box, which they sold also. So I had to purchase that, and then they installed it, and all that took about like a half an hour. But again, they're really busy, so I had to wait my turn for all that. But, you know, in the meantime, we inspected the trailer with a sales guy. He's really cool. They're really nice people down in ProLine Pro Trailer Sales out in Roanoke, Virginia. I highly recommend them um, if you're close enough to be able to drive and get it. I mean, they have delivery options too, but depending on how far away it is, it can be very costly. So in my case, it's like I might as well... You know, it, it, it took me one tank of gas to go there and come back. But, like, to have had it delivered it would have been like several hundred dollars so that's that's not one tank of gas that's a lot so obviously it was a big savings for me to drive out there and come back it was a little treacherous it was a little stressful on the way back because it started pouring out there um, and all the back roads leading to the highways right from the trailer dealership that you know were very narrow very windy no shoulder so and this is seven feet wide versus the five feet plus you got the additional dual axle wheel sticking out so it was a lot wider of a trailer than i was used to pulling especially with it pouring rain i could barely see and it was a narrow you know windy road so it was a little little uh you know nail biting to say the least but once i got through that and that you know the sun came out eventually and i got on the highways everything was smooth sailing got it here safe and then ever since then, it's just been chipping away at the different things. Like, I really want to get this lettered, but again, I don't have the money in my budget yet for that. So I'm just going to wait and do the best that I can. But in the meantime, I'm saving money on rent, over 100 bucks a month on rent. As well as I'm going to be more efficient because I can have all my stuff in here, which I still do not. But I have all of my main stuff. Everything that was on my open trailer and then a little extra stuff is in here as best as I could do it without having to build shelves and all these kind of things, which take time and I don't have that right now so I'm just chipping away at it little by little so again I have my my main equipment my mowers and all that loaded up in here but I have my walk behind in here and my grandstand which is clutch um, so now if I don't have to come back take my grandstand out put my walk behind in and then go for some of the situations that I might need my walk behind which I've already done that once this year so that's going to happen occasionally and I just want it to be here and I have to worry about going all the way back to storage to pick it up so yeah, it's a little extra weight that I'm pulling, but I haven't really noticed a difference at all, especially with the electric brakes. It's it's like driving a dream. Like, you know, I don't even realize that I'm stopping with this trailer with the brakes. I don't know if anything pulling other than going up big hills, which I don't do very often, but on the way from Roanoke, there's a lot of that. So that kind of um, was touch and go. But, uh, you know, my F-150 obviously is not the, the most powerful truck in the world to be pulling a 7x16 trailer. But the amount of weight that I'm, that's in this trailer is the same amount of weight that I'm basically pulling, that I was pulling all the time my 5x10. So, yes, the trailer itself weighs more than the 5x10 open trailer. So you're adding that as well. But, again, this F-150 was meant to be able to pull, you know, boats and uh campers and things like that which is what the previous owner did i know for a fact because that's what they told me and it's, it was all wired up for electrical and all that stuff for the brake bot for the brakes for electric brakes and everything so it's fine i'm just doing just pulling this thing throughout the city throughout the neighborhoods uh, throughout throughout my local area from one hoa to another i'm not taking it on any long trips just back from roanoke was it and it was empty so I'm not really concerned. I'm going to need to get a new truck eventually anyway. So I'm going to use this one until the wheels fall off. Basically, until the engine stops working, I'm going to use this truck. I don't need a new truck yet, so I'm not going to be worrying about it. I'm just going to keep saving, keep different accounts with different emergency funds, and use what I need when I need it. And that's it. When I need a new truck, I'll get a new truck. But for now, I'm going to focus on other things like this trailer and getting this all set up because this is an investment for me to grow into little by little. Um, so yeah, so I've just been piecing everything together. There's a lot of stuff that I want to do inside. I'll show you guys that in, in another video where I've gotten to so far. I've, again, put some stuff on Instagram, given some quick little sneak peeks. Um, some new stuff has happened since then. Um, but I do want to get it done as quickly as possible because I'm anxious to have everything running 100% so that I can just be super efficient. Just get in the trailer, grab what I need to go, and get out, and so on and so forth, and not have to move things around too much and stuff like that. So that's all work in progress. Stay tuned.